Mercedes are currently ramping up efforts to introduce the next generation of some of their cars, and with the all-new GLC class receiving a new update, which was unveiled just some weeks ago, it is now expected that they would be directing efforts to delivering a new coupe variant, which could be ready for 2023, though there are rumors that it would not come until 2024. The new GLC Coupe is expected to take some really impressive features from the GLC class, while also having a slightly different look that would be better than what even came with the new GLC class. Following its release, the new GLC class has been one of the trending topics around the Mercedes space, and even though it has been criticized in some sections, particularly the rear view and how the car looks generally, it is still recognized as being one of the very top cars from Mercedes and will be the one ushering in the next generation GLC Coupe, with many expecting that it will do better than its predecessor. If you're curious to find out all the latest details about the next generation GLC Coupe, as well as some other details we're sure you'll find interesting, then you'll have to stay tuned for this. If you're new to the channel, well, this is lavish luxury. And if you're not already taken some action, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And let's get you going with some of the best luxury and finance content you can think of. Now, let's head back to what we have for you today. The new generation GLC class SUV has been accepted quite well since its launch, with many people seemingly getting on board with the hype for the SUV. While it boasts of really impressive details and features that surely make it worth considering for anyone willing to get a quality SUV, there are still perhaps a few details that Mercedes need to sharpen up to make the car rank as probably the best in its range. However, despite this, the new generation SUV seems to have improved massively from what was featured in the older generation, and now Mercedes are also planning to do something similar with the Coupe variant. Called internally as the C254, the GLC Coupe is expected to model the new GLC class SUV and take some of its interesting attributes that would go on to make it the best-looking GLC Coupe ever. For the new Coupe, expected between 2023 and 2024, much is expected to change from its current model, with Mercedes looking to implement a design that sets it apart, while also making it have some other attributes that perhaps they missed out on, or which could have been improved from the GLC Class SUV. Following the launch of its bigger brother in the GLC Class SUV, it didn't really take long for the GLC Coupe to be spotted during road testing. If this means anything, then it surely is that Mercedes are almost prepared for an eventual launch, even though the tag almost might still take a while. Luckily, in spy shots captured as seen via topspeed.com, the upcoming Coupe will boast of a Coupe-like tail section, just like in its current model, while also carrying on the design dynamics of the recently launched GLC SUV. While there are still quite some similarities between both models, one particular difference that can be seen is that the new GLC Coupe will come with a set of new LED headlights, with a similar grille design as it is with the GLC SUV. To add to that, it also looks like the new GLC Coupe will also have a new set of LED tail lights that will be different from what is being offered in the SUV. Moving further, the GLC Coupe will also come with a set of 20-inch, 20-spoke wheels, just as seen on the prototype that was captured during the testing. Aside from that, every other detail that can be gotten from the exterior look of the next-generation Coupe's prototype is heavily camouflaged. However, just from merely looking at it, it just all but seems that the front fascia and rear design will look different with the rear particularly looking better than the current model. Away from the exterior look, and more into what is expected to come with the car's interior, it is likely that the interior will feature design elements from the new GLC SUV, which will also add to how well the new Coupe variant will look much different from its current model. For infotainment, the new GLC Coupe is also expected to come with an updated infotainment system which will feature a 12.3-inch driver information display and an 11.9-inch portrait-style touchscreen display, both of which are massive upgrades for the next-generation Coupe. It is also expected that the Coupe will have more space than currently seen in the present model, especially since the GLC Class SUV got a similar upgrade in that regard due to the increased footprint. 
Generally, everything about the car is expected to be better than the current model, while also making sure that Mercedes can use some of the features and styling upgrades that the GLC SUV got on the coupe variant. As regards the engine features and performance, you can surely expect that it is also one aspect that will receive an upgrade. And quite interestingly, Mercedes are going to make the coupe launch as a mild hybrid car. Even though it is still very much expected that the new generation coupe will come with the same 2.0-litre turbocharged four-cylinder engine, the coupe will also have a mild hybrid setup that will see it be able to produce 258 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. To add to this, the coupe will also have an optional 4MATIC AWD variant that buyers can choose. Also, with a full launch of the standard car, still going to take a while by the way, it is expected that it wouldn't take long after that for Mercedes to deliver a plug-in hybrid model, as well as other electric options. One thing that many companies have been adopting is to let their new generation cars come with a full electric option, or a number of hybrid options at least. And it is also expected to be what Mercedes will do at one point in time, and while we can't say for sure that it won't be this model, you never can really tell what they're planning. While other details like the fuel economy or the pricing and some other distinct features are still not available, there is almost every indication that the GLC Coupe would almost be a new Coupe that would differ from its current model in quite a lot of things. It is, however, expected that before the year runs out, there will be more information about the GLC Coupe from Mercedes, as well as when to expect the car, with rumors suggesting that the best possible time for its release will be in 2024. If that is anything to go by, that will surely be a long wait from now. Although expect Mercedes to take their time and probably outdo themselves and set the coupe on a challenge to be one of the best options to consider in its range. Before we wrap up the video, let's take a quick look at some of the important things about the GLC class SUV, with the car expected to be what the coupe will be modeled to follow. For engine, the GLC class is going to launch with one engine option at first, before Mercedes will then improve their options with the more powerful engine options. The standard engine option will be a turbocharged 2.0-litre four-cylinder engine with 48-volt hybrid system for GLC 300. The more powerful AMG 53 and 63 variants are then expected to come in and offer better performance options for users. Aside from this, there will also be a plug-in hybrid version of the GLC SUV available for buyers from the United States. For the exterior, the car will come with a new shape for the headlights, narrower tail lights, and a single horizontal strip on the grill, instead of the double strip seen in the 2022 version. To add to this, the 2023 GLC will also be 2.4 inches longer than its predecessor, while also having a 0.6-inch wider wheelbase. For the interior, there will be a new infotainment system that will feature two displays, as well as an optional augmented reality navigation system. Also, there will be a new steering wheel with touch-sensitive control buttons. Even from just looking at the features of the GLC class SUV, it's pretty clear what Mercedes are doing and how they want to make the coupe an exact little version of the SUV. There's surely more to be expected from the coupe and we certainly cannot wait for more updates from Mercedes. What are your thoughts on the Mercedes GLC Coupe? Is it a car worth taking? What do you also think about how the car takes too much from the GLC SUV? Kindly respond in the comments section. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel as well as turn on the notification bell button. We'll see you in the next video.